Uh, we got this in. At, yeah. at uh, Nia underscore Jones 13, mm -hmm. uh, she says, Hi both, my sister Kat is one of your biggest fans. She's constantly playing the video games you're featured in. <laughs> Starring in. Yeah, starring feature. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and loves telling me about your videos. The past few months have been pretty crummy for her. Yeah, so um, she goes on to say, she had to put her mental health nursing on hold because she was diagnosed with lymphoma in September and is currently receiving chemo. Would make her year if you could send her a message to say hi. It's the only way I could think of to cheer her up. Well, uh, Nia says she's the strongest, kindest, most caring nerd I know. And I know a message from you guys would distract her from the bad news she's been getting recently. Thanks so much in advance, Nia. Message. Message? message. You know what, Nia, Kat, we can do way better than way that. Way better. We're going to dedicate this entire episode yeah. is to you, Kat, because fuck cancer. Hey, I'm crying right now. Woo! I know. Hey, what is going happen, everybody? Nolan North, Troy Baker, and this is Retro Replay for Cat. For Cat. Cheers. I am cheersing you, but man, I am. You have. No one will ever know. Mm. They'll never know. They'll never know. The beauty. We we did our How? intro uh, for about two three minutes and then realized we were both naked. I mean, how do you do that? You were naked. No, God, no. Well, and that's everybody I somehow that didn't notice though. I was so in it because no. we organically. The, you know what? You know what made me think about it? Like, like I can't let it go. I, I know it's because you don't this have is to. the same color. You don't have to. This is the same you color. You don't have to. No, we were just we got into uh, stories. And no, Drew was crawling on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> he said, I like, called, okay, like so a, Drew <laughs> ran into our shot. We had to start over. No, he but crawled Drew, into it like a giant Joe. He crawled into Joe it, and I thought he looked like a big orangutan. <laughs> Which brought up stories and of Clint Eastwood. And somehow I said, Clint Eastwood is like, how did we come up? Like, what, what film exec came up with the idea to do um, not one, but... Every Which Way But Loose, oh. and then Any Which Way You Can. There was a third one. I think there was three movies... Which scares me is like the same amount of movies that we did for Sergio Leone's masterful western. Yeah, the spaghetti western. We're gonna do with a hairy ape. <laughs> and you, well, it's an orangutan. Uh, <laughs> and that's been too fun a point yeah, on it. Yeah. That isn't even qualified. Don't, Clyde. Put it, don't put that up there. Clyde, and you like, instantly, Clyde. yeah, Clyde, you're like, you knew that, you pulled that out, lickety split. Clyde, spider. right turn, Clyde. They, they punch him. <laughs> right turn, Clyde. <laughs> <laughs> oh! And the funny thing is, is the color hair and everything is uh, very close to the hue of orange of our current president. It's just a, a, an observation. It's just a casual observation. He needs to get a little bit uh, better makeup artist to get that tone down. I, somebody put up a picture of, is it the worst job in the White House? And it was, I don't, it had to be a doctored photo because it was someone like, like an Earl Scheib. <laughs> A shot of them spray painting him, um, and it it can't be real. Uh, you know but the funny is, thing is, so here the, we go. We're no, no. But no, when I was um, when I was on the soap opera, uh, my first job in L.A. If anybody, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Excuse me, just one moment. We'll be right back. I hate to break it to you, but uh, they all told me they liked me a lot better. Yeah, I know. I paid them to say that. Continue. <laughs> my first job. When I was on a daytime drama, um, no, they, they, you know, you, you, they do makeup in the morning, right? Okay. And there was one makeup artist that, I don't know if there was a colorblind thing, and people were watching, they were like, wow, he's been tanning. And it was just, I was just a little darker, and every now and then they would do a job where it <laughs> you could, could see the line. Of, the line, and then like, especially when you're clean shaven. You have the bronzer beard that, line? Yes! And I remember sitting there going, is that a kabuki mask? What am I wearing? What is that? You're like Dan Egan and Veep talking about being a diversity <laughs> yes, hire. Yes, exactly. Wow. How dare you? <laughs> no, I mean, it was like two shades away from blackface. You're like, you, <laughs> oh. you were like, you're going to be banned for One life. One day, you're going to be in the Senate. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> wow. We just got political here on Retro <laughs> Replay. It was two of them. It's impossible not to. It's not that we're like, let's talk about politics. It's that we're so inundated. I'm not talking about politics. I'm talking <laughs> about silly looking people on television. Do you think Kat's disappointed by now? Has she just said, uh, no. <laughs> I, I'm not going to lie to you. Every time you say Kat, I kind of tense up a little bit. No. 
Hey, this episode's for Cat. No. <laughs> yes. I bet Cat loves uh, the cat. Man. <laughs> Eventually, we're gonna get to what we call a video game, but I, I do have a question for you. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I, I kind of feel like I'm losing my mind. Pam and I are like on the fence right now because Pam is my wife. Okay. My wife. Go. Pam, kids are just germ bombs, right? Like you can't oh, yeah. go anywhere else. I am a little bit of the mind of going. They gotta get sick. Yep. They you you have to. That's how the immune Build system. Yep. She. Uh, she can't, she can't, she goes, I can't intentionally put Traveler in a situation where it's like, you are absolutely going to get sick. We're going to, I'm going to, we're going to take you to my gym and you're going to come out just a, a disease like smorgasbord. Well, then he's n never going to learn anything because the day you go to school, you and Pam will never get sicker than like the week after he starts preschool. Oh. They're like, hey, buddy. <laughs> like, Lord and Daddy. It's like, oh my God, calling the paramedics. It's like that scene in Family Guy. You're all guy. sitting in a, in, a, in, a, in a tub full of ice. <laughs> We're going to get the baby's fever down. Uh, I can't feel my toes. There's that scene in Family Guy where they like just inject Quagmire with everything. <laughs> he just like blows up with everything. Halloween is fun. Oh, you know, but it's true. Uh, you, you gotta, the, we got to do it, right? What, what, what's, it, it, it is heartbreaking, though. That's the one thing I've noticed as a parent is it is absolutely heartbreaking when your kids get hurt or sick, especially when they're little and they don't, they don't, they don't understand why they're, oh. there's no, and it's heartbreaking. But you know what you do? You, you suck it up, you go get yourself a nice stiff drink, and you just get through it. I mean, it'll be fine. Because otherwise, you're setting them up for massive problems down the line. Yeah, I want him like, to be... It's like the boy in the bubble. It's like Travolta. Ah, I don't want him to be... Look, look what that happened. Look what I'm happened in the him. bubble. You know, I'm not so unhappy in here as all of you think. Really? That hey. sounded a lot like Travolta. Hi, I'm Christopher Walken reading for the role of John Travolta. Hello, Mr. Carter. Hey, Horshack. That was like such... What is that? It's a mashup. It's a mashup, but it's like such a, a like mm. way pull. That's like, he was on oh set God. for that going, I've got this audition for a movie called Saturday Night Fever. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, what are we doing? Let's do. Let's do what we do here. A game. Because I, I don't know this game, but I do know the whole that we have dead or alive. We have dead or alive. And tomorrow, tomorrow dead or alive dead six, or alive six comes out, which is uh, uh, which is uh, March first, right? Tomorrow's March first. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what March first? Get out there. Cease. So we're going to show you the old version, and and then you go the out, old play version. New one. It's also known as one, like like the original. I'm sorry. Did dead I say or alive? Old? It's weird. It's freaking me out. This is the whole reason why I drew like like GI Joe whatever into uh, the Army Men. You know what I'm talking about? The Green Army Men. Yeah. Okay. They made it into Toy Story for God's sake. Arlie yeah. Army. Oh, God bless it. I know. Damn it, maggots! United States Marine Corps taught me how to kill a man in six seconds. Let's get it on. Ah! The good people at Express VPN are back. <laughs> yes, I love ExpressVPN. You yeah, know, seriously, we do. We love ExpressVPN. Use it daily to protect our internet from snoops, hackers. Those bad right? snoops and hackers. And you know why? You need protection, right, from the internet. Because tell you, it's dirty. You just like saying the word dirty. It In is. that voice, I, I do. It's actually super easy to use. I pulled it open, and I can just connect, push a button right there. I can choose my location. Drew! Show it full screen. I choose wherever I want my server to be based. Right now I'm in Los Angeles, so I can go bloop. So if I'm traveling overseas, I want nice. to watch a show, or I don't want someone to know that I'm wherever <laughs> I am in the world, I can choose where it is, and I can hide, and I can keep my internet privacy safe. It's cool, and less than $7 a month, with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So take back your internet privacy today, and find out how you can get three months free by clicking the link in the description box. ExpressVPN.com slash Retro Replay. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash Retro Replay for three months free with a one-year package. Visit ExpressVPN.com slash Retro Replay to learn more. Take back your privacy today. Thanks, ExpressVPN, for giving soup to Drew. Mmm, mmm, soup. Uh, uh, I'm looking at a PS2. I'm looking down at our feet because that's where the PS2 is because the cord is like three inches long. Don't. And that's three inches. There we go. Thru, uh, PS2. But Dead or Alive was a PS1 uh, release. 
Um, right? I, <laughs> I'll, I'll <laughs> just note the Drupus in here. Realistic fighting versus cartoon fighting is the theme. I.e. DOA versus Street Fighter. They're both pretty cartoonish. Now, for the time, this was like super realistic graphics. Super realistic. And Tina was gorgeous. Um, you, know what, you know what? One thing that was interesting about what? this, uh, Ryo Hayabusa is a character in this, and that was uh, Ninja Gaiden, wasn't it? Tell me, am I wrong? I'm right. Of people on the couch who have played, this, who have played Ryo Hayabusa. took my blood and the dragon sword. I played Rhea Hayabusa oh. in Doa 5. But anyway, and I, so, it's, I don't want to make this about me. No, I wouldn't. I don't uh, make who's this about playing me. him in 6? Um, not you? Is there? Is We'll find out. Is there? Maybe not me. I not me. am also not featured in Dead or Alive 6. Thank you for not hiring me. This leads us to our plot. <laughs> The Dead or Alive series depicts a collection of skilled martial artists in a worldwide competition named the Dead or Alive Tournament. Right. Doa Tech, Dead or Alive sure. Tournament Executive Committee. Committee. Yes. Holes. Uh. The fighting competition in arenas ranging from the North Pole to the Amazon Rainforest. Like the horrible restaurant that you can find in some terrible or malls. Or Forest Whitaker. Are we ever going to play this game? Uh, I'm gonna sound like a very, very American guy, Kasumi, probably Kasumi, a runaway female ninja, and the series' main protagonist enters the tournament to seek revenge against Raidao, right. who crippled her brother Hayate. Uh oh. Gameplay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, we're playing a game called Dead or Alive, which means somebody's going. You either live or die in the battle, and she's gonna kill someone because her brother was. Parallel, crippled. Is, is that not right? Not really eye for an eye. That would not be an eye for an eye. That'd be, be like, an eye for a life. That'd be legs for your life. I'll make you oh, a deal. you <laughs> broke my back. I'm going to kill you. You go hard, man. Because it's like, you know, the first day in prison, you got to beat up the biggest, strongest person well, there. That's not the first thing you do in prison. <laughs> oh, no. First day in prison, you just get over the crying. <laughs> that's Hey, that's exactly what they... And if you don't cry... In, and then they uh, beat you up. <laughs> <laughs> in uh, Shawshank, hey, hey, stop crying. I want my mom, I want my mommy. That long shot on him. I want to go home. I want my mother. Clancy Brown. And then he died. Yeah, Clancy. Clancy Brown. Nicest guy in the world, though. That's what's so funny. Yeah. Highlander. Ah! All right, let's get to this freaking yep, let's game. let's go. Whip, 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 yeah. whip, whip. Are we gonna go PvP or are we gonna go? Do you wanna do tournament style? Do you wanna Let do. Us, let's see more. Let's just, just get me let's going. Do <coughs> it's weird holding this like uh -oh. old school Duo Shock There's one. There's a guy from China. Duo Shock 2. Jeet Kune. Um, JKD. Okay. Jeet Kundo. Come on. You know Jeet Kundo. That's Jeet Kundo. That's his style. Bodyguard. 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 So, uh, is that you? Uh, I don't know, but I look good. I'm doing that. Oh, you could be, you could be Hayabusa. Oh, you're going to you... play first, I thought. Oh, okay. Well, who else do I have choice for? Uh, Hayabusa. Payment. Oh, oh, I like his eyebrows and Eyebrow. the chapeau. He's from Russia. Lei Feng. Oh, that's him. Kin Fu? Kin Fu. It looks kind of like... <coughs> it, looks like a, it looks like a Dwalin in uh, The Hobbit. Graham McTavish. There he is. His occupation? He's a bookstore. He is a full bookstore. What is your occupation? I am a bookstore. I think he talks like this. <laughs> All right. That's the, that's the Chinese. Go. I am Jim Fu. Hold on, I need this. Go, go, go. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Push, All right, we'll push, keep. push, I'll push. have some of that, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you want to try some of that? Yeah, come on now. Come on. Yep, 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 Now, I just kicked you in the face, boy. Here's a replay. Oh, I like that, a replay? Winner. Winner. That's me. Like come I on, uh, come on, boy. Oh, hey, have some foot. Would you like another one? Have another foot. Here, I heard you like to smell my shoes, but have a fist. Oh, foot in your neck. Come on, have a foot. <laughs> have a foot. <laughs> have a foot. That's like a weird commercial. Have a foot today. Oh. Or it's a pickup line. No, it's not no. a pickup line. <laughs> um, Maybe not for you. So gameplay. 
Whoa. Dead or Alive was unique in its debut in that oh, it looky. featured fairly different choices in gameplay than other 3D fighting games at this time. I mean, yeah. Look, I don't, I'm not going to start picking a fight on the internet about, you know, between the difference between Dead or Alive or Virtua Fighter oh, or shit. Tekken. Um, all I do know is that if you walked into the arcade and there was someone that was playing, like, you had your Street Fighter kids, mm -hmm. and then you had like your I like your, this game. Your Virtual Fighter. I think I'm good at this game. I think I I've oh, got yeah, something. Hayabusa. Yeah, Hayabusa. You had your people that I would just, fight like kick, you know, uh, if they were put their quarters on Virtual Fighter. Come on, boy. It's like the difference between someone who plays Call of Duty and Rainbow Six. You're like I'm in this for real. Full metal jacket. Um. Its most defining features were its speed and countering system. So this isn't just about being like I'm going to beat you up. You have to like. Oh, you want to counter? You want to counter? How do I counter? You know what else you could counter in was Prince of Persia. I took this guy down. Shit, it, it's it's. I mean, that's that. Uh, just you can parry all you want. Just parry and then fight. Eh, no, you gotta parry it. Parry. Parry fight. Parry stab. Parry stab. That's it. Parry stab. Hi, I'm Perry Stab. Hi, Perry Stab. I'm in I, accounting. You, we haven't met. Hi, I see you have potion. Can we go down and have a drink? Hi. Hi. Oh, this should be delicious. I can't wait to expense this at the end of the year, can I? <laughs> oh, Perry, you're such a life of the party. Oh, you know something? I just like to have sex in the break room during Christmas with people I don't know. Should we? Dead or Alive put an oh, emphasis oh. on speed oh, and relied more on simplistic commands and reaction time rather than long combo strings. But that was that was more like Virtual Fighter, wasn't it? Oh. Uh, furthermore, its countering system was the first in the fighting genre to utilize different commands that corresponded to each type of attack. Mortal Kombat would, of course, Ooh. do that. Really Jen well Fu just too. kicked me. Oh, she kicked me after she kicked me. Look at the look at the quads on her. Yeah, she does CrossFit. My God, that woman, that woman, man. Let me tell See? you. See, wait, wait for your ability. Wait for your ability. Wait for. Whoa, I'm gonna tell you something. Wait for your opportunity. <clears throat> Let me tell you something. It's cool. Video games uh, uh, were the first no. Uh, mm. God, look, my God, it looks like she's like carrying like two sacks of potatoes and then her feet show up. Video games were really the ones to put forth the notion that never pick a fight with a girl. Oh, look at this guy. Hi, hey, I hey, just, Jan came Lee the just office. gotta get back to the bar. There's people, I got some drinks. Uh, oh, no, I went real estate. Oh, you because you got the rolled up sleeves. Yeah, the rolled up sleeves. I'm thinking. But I'm doing well. Look, man, I'm. I was giving you props. Like when we first started, I saw Dragon Age. Dragon Age. Nope. Hooray! Dragon's Lair. You did really, really well. You cr you, that you beat cool. that game. That game was cool, but that game I didn't enjoy. You didn't enjoy it at all? Nope. Didn't enjoy it because I couldn't pay Watching attention. Watching arrows as known to all you. All I did is like, <laughs> ah, I'm just looking at arrows, and you're talking and having fun, and I'm like, I had a blast. Do you want to play? I'll get down on this, but it is also really, really fun. Man, when da when games came on CDs, Monster Rancher. You know, I like that. I think that's one thing. Uh, it, okay, can we whatever pause you do, I gotta pause don't you. stand too close to your CD rack. How do we pause? Hold on, before I get that. I, hold what on, I got, weird. Oh, no, man. man, you're in it now. You can't. No, but this guy is like. He, wow, that, that guy reminds me Tommy of Tommy uh, Bahama. No, it's, but it's like Dragon Ball Z-ish. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I only bought that book for the compelling articles. Oh, you're fighting against Genfu because you were in the same thing. So that's like Genfu on or Genfu. It's Don't on fight vacation. me on vacation. You beat me to it. Look at him. Well, we finished each other's sandwiches. Uh, <laughs> you see that? Large. She's like she beats me up, and then she does this little. Bleh, bleh, bleh. They're like bye There's bye. There's someone. Now keep in mind, those are ones and zeros, right? In there. She's whooping your ass. Oh, there's okay someone with, hold that, on. I'm okay with it, man. I'll tell you something. There's, look, she's gonna, animate that. They're like, hey, we need to put in the code for the boob bounce. She's gonna get black eyes. What is the things? JavaScript for boob bounce? <clears throat> I uh, happen to know that. She, the spurs hurt. Ow! Get your ankles. Yeah, you ever do that? I've never said like, that. You ever, you ever like 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 hit your ankle? Yeah. Just like ankle, just just kind of tapped it like that, and next thing you know, you, you just. I like, think I have to go to the emergency room. Yeah, but I'm trying it's to very get sensitive these. bones. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna let the phrase "sensitive bone" go. I'm gonna in let it go. The interest of good taste. Where, where Sometimes you gotta let them go. Dude, 
I know something. When all else, man, grappling is always going to win. But yeah, I gotta tell you Dude, something. I have I, no I, idea what there's these something. Do. I, there's something about her beating the crap out of me. I like. Is there something in my my forties that I'm going to like? Is that something? Do I have to call the wife? I think that there's also so something get some with her. Bag, get some gloves. Did you say, uh, she instantly ran up to me. There's no blocking that, by the way. I'm assuming that R1 is blocking. <gasps> oh, I like that one too. She just jumped up, put it in your face. Spun you down, threw you on your backside. Give, give me some. I, I've never played with this guy before in my life. I have no idea what his moves are. I know what hers all. are. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I, I don't want to continue. I can't, I can't be. I can't not be pure eye right now. I can't be immature. You can't be immature. I, no, but I, I cannot not be immature. So you can't be mature. I cannot be mature. Isn't it weird when people say mature? Uh, it's not. It's, right. it's weird, right? Yeah, mature. Not. Has to have Let's go versus. Episode. What does that mean? Me against you, homie. Oh, but I do. Tina versus Hayabusa. Tina's got pretty blue eyes. That's nice. Especially on a brunette. I looked up some moves. You know what, though? Hey, she's like, yeah, how you doing, Rio? Want some of that? Yeah. Hi. Hey, my eyes are up here, Rio. Oh. I love how they... Oh, I see. Would you want to do that? Oh, okay. You want to do that to a girl? Hashtag me too. No. Not cool. Yeah, what's up, bitch? <gasps> mm, let's do this. Let's do that. What'd you call me? Oh, I know what you're looking at. Yeah, my eyes are up here. Rio. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. I tried to do this. Wow. I tried to do the split snatch drop. No, oh, no, I just heard what you said. I know you did. That's how it goes. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Rio. Hey. Hey, Rio, how you doing? Hey, come here, kid. How you doing? What are you doing? Oh. You hit a girl, you hit a girl, and that's not cool, so I'm just gonna kick you down to the Yeah. Here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna we're gonna play Mortal Kombat and I'm gonna destroy you. I'm gonna be like Baraka just Oh maybe you will or maybe you won't. I just need to do like I don't know what these moves are. And you're just over here just button mashing. That's all I do. You know something? Sometimes it's just the the arrogance of ignorance that gets arrogance me through life. Arrogance of ignorance. Just I'm like, well, let's see. I, Who we're gonna do? Now let's see. Well, I like Zach. Zach looks like a tough. Fella. He looks like Vin Diesel. He does. Doesn't he look like? No, no. You know he looks. He looks more. It's like, if, like Vin Diesel and Michael B. Jordan had a kid. Are you afraid of the dark? Are you afraid of your mother? <laughs> You're not afraid of the dark, are you? <laughs> are you afraid of your mother in the dark? I'm not. <laughs> That's when we roll around in the sheets and play find the smell. You know what I mean? She's a beautiful woman. She's got a, she's got a, oh, this is a pheromone fragrance. I, I prefer, you know, after a hot yoga session, she come by. You make a little gravy. And I'm no mean food. You know what I'm saying? I'm kidding. It's your mother. I instantly went into a South Park episode where he's like, <laughs> Vagisil, every day, every day. Safe for use every day, every day, every day. Funny, as I'm sitting there doing that, waiting for you to jump in, and I look over and you're going. <laughs> Sometimes I just watch. Sometimes I just watch. <laughs> we well, know. Let's, so say, let's say John DiMaggio. I'm going to play his Lance bass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one got me. I'm going to play his Lance bass. Uh, Jen Lee. It's like, oh, and this is the Laws Jonas brother. Let's go. All right, Joan Lee, Jan Lee. This Jonas. is the thing. Is like, I, 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 the, there was so much that I had to do to like just look up and go. Do you think it's right. base with that with the way he looks, or is that bass? He looks. Oh, he's definitely got bass. It's that's like bass. Like, yeah. Let me, look, this, look, look at your guy is definitely someone who goes like the Tennessee and goes noodling. I've been noodling in the Mississippi. That's how you catch catfish. I'm gonna catch a catfish with my bare hands. Oh wow, check that out. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs>
You know what? <laughs> I'm losing my. What frustrates yeah, no. me is that button mashing just works. Like it's like you got button mash fire. Got to do fire against fire. Do you know what I like about this? It, when they win, you, you know how we've done we've done a bunch of uh, uh, mocap stuff, and we have to do those. We've done a bunch of mocap stuff. Well, mocap you jobs, and, but we have to do. You know how sometimes you have to. They have you do the, uh, you know, like a little dance after you, you, you after you after you take somebody down. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, he just fainted. <laughs> what is that? He's like, oh, it's too much for me. My guy fainted right. against the guy who's like, I like noodling. You ever noodle for a catfish? <laughs> what you do is you get down there and you put your hand and hold away from the budget and you pull them out by the inner gills. And you got yourself a goddamn catfish. Sometimes it takes your whole hand off. One time I put it in there and there, there was a snake. <laughs> and I went, but I got it. That's noodling. You know that's a real thing, right? <laughs> Oh my God! Get him in there. Noodling. <laughs> no. In case you don't know that noodling, is, I'm. This is not a joke. Noodling is. Uh, it, it, I, this is. A, I'm sorry. I know this. It's a form of fishing that you don't use the rod and reel. It's a form of fishing. You literally. Oh, I wasn't take, fishing. You, you take. You take your. Um, mm -hmm. just, you, usually, it's. it's I've, from what I've seen, mm -hmm. it's fellers. They get themselves a dip. Go, let's go noodling. <laughs> and they go in there and they shirts off. Um, there's and then it's just they literally get down almost to here this and you just stick your hand a in the holes along the, the banks of a river. All right. And you you're trying to find a catfish hole and where their eggs and they, they protect and the catfish can be as big as you and me. I mean they're huge. And they wait for them to grab onto your arm and you you grab their inside of the and you pull them out because they won't let go and that's you have that's how you catch a fish you you nearly drown by and cuz cuz some people who have been smaller have drowned noodling because the kids and they go to pull it out and it pulls them back in and <laughs> or you it's could like, just run I'm dead you Get could, it! you could just go they're biting today pretty good yeah this this is the better way <laughs> Uh, they are. Well, I guess I'm going to go home alive. You know, I could stick this hand in a hole and catch a fish, but <laughs> this is a much better. <laughs> Ooh, ah, uh, that's now better. Is, <laughs> and guess what? I am also dry. No, is is there someone at a restaurant going? Uh, now we have, of course, prepared the uh, wonderful South American uh, uh, sea bass for you as well. Now this was caught noodling, uh, which is a very makes the fish uh, the fish so much more tender. We've uh, done that in a nice reduction sauce as well. No, no one's ever going. I just have a quick question: Was this pole cut or was this noodle cut? No, this is noodle cut. Okay, so is there any part of some like Alabama resident that's still inside of the fish that I'm about to consume? Very possible. Well, we mm. did find a class ring. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why don't we go shark noodling, Daddy? I did that one time, and it weren't a good idea. Daryl, why don't you tell him about the time we went noodling last night? Daryl hey. decided to catch the catfish with his head. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's uh, recap. Uh, fuck cancer. Troy played Rio Hayabusa, and uh, you can catch a fish with your bare hand. <laughs> if you want to. <laughs> Holy crap. And we played about 32 seconds of, uh, of me well, what getting an ass kicked And by let's learn something, that if you just sit here and go... And button ma... <laughs> <laughs> She'll be just as good but I'll tell you what, as the kid who oh. sat there and went, I have every move memorized. But you know I'm what? I'm dead. I can, I can tie it all in. What? If you go noodling too much, you cannot mash the buttons as quick because those little they will take your digits with you. They really will. They'll take your digits. The fish will take your digits. Noodling. It could cost you your digits. I Louisiana like <laughs> public service announcement. Jeez, Bobby. <laughs> All right, and Don't go a, noodling. It is a it is a thing. It is a thing. It, it I don't look it up. I will look, look that it up. Look it up. Look it up. Don't stereotype. Not right. No. I digress. Yes, you do. I love you all. What do we play next? Noodling?
sniff. That's me, Smurray there. Re 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 re